Let's take a look at some of the console's displays and navigation. We start out in summary live display. Below that we have our current queue detail information. Underneath that is our command line. And below that is our fader ribbon showing what our faders are doing. In the tile view, each tile gives us a lot of information at a glance. At the top we have our channel number. Immediately below that we have that channel's current intensity. And if applicable, below that we have that channel's focus, color, and beam information. We have another way to expand this to look at some additional information. If we press our format button once, we change to table view, which any channels that have non-intensity parameter information, such as a scroller or color information, it will expand that to show what those parameters are doing. You press format again to come back to our tile view. To page up and down, I use the page buttons here. You'll notice it's going one full page at a time. I can also go one line at a time by enabling scroll lock and then using page up and down. I can also zoom these tiles by holding down the format button and using the level wheel to zoom in and out. The data button will show us more precise information. For example, channel 16 right now shows 88. If I hold it down, we see that it's actually at 87.5% if you need that level of granularity. When I let go of the data button, it returns to the standard state. If we go into blind, you'll see that the screen turns gray as a quick visual indicator and the command line also changes. Remember that any changes made in blind are updated immediately. There's no need to use the update or record buttons. In blind, we have an additional format view called spreadsheet that is not available in live. And then we still have our table view and tile view.